sandwich store and you ask you know and the guy i say what do you want everything is on it so this is the stress sandwich everything on it yikes this looks horrible right so here i have a big plate i have this huge plate here right we see that and i got forces on all faces yuck you know i got forces pulling i got shearing forces the shearing force magnitude is f1 i got forces pulling on this face shearing force magnitude is f2 on this face and then this face shearing force shearing force is f1 normal force is p1 of course these two have to be equal and opposite for balance you see what i mean equilibrium demands that this has to be equal to that this has to be equal to this this has to be equal to that this has to be equal to that that force equilibrium tells us that okay but we don't care about any of them we really want to know what's happening on this face we really want to know what is happening on this face that one and we want to know sigma nn is what and sigma nt is what you know the notation right n stands for the face direction t or n stands for the normal so sigma nn means normal is the face is in the n direction the force is in the n direction face is in the n direction force is in the t direction that makes sense to you looks very messy so like what we did in the previous class we are going to cut out this piece that piece right and we are going to say okay as far as this thing goes at least i'll get rid of a whole bunch of stuff this is what i want to find out okay so this is the so remember let me write this down remember what this was called right sigma x x times l 1 this will be called sigma x y l 1 times t of course that's the net force on these faces right how come this is sigma x x should it not be sigma minus x minus x that's correct because the face is in the minus x direction the force is in the minus x direction can you see that but we knew already that this force and this force are the same so this is sigma x x l t you see what i mean so that's why it is same way this will be sigma y y l 2 t this one will be sigma y x l 2 t okay this is sigma n n how much and this is sigma n t how much so you look at this and you're like yeah what am i going to do ouch ouch so don't worry about it how do you make a sandwich you take each thing and layer it on right take the bread first put something on it put something else on it put something else on it until you build up your sandwich that's what we're going to do so remember this equal sign so this is going to be equal to four pieces we have done the four pieces so what are the four pieces i'll show you here they are piece number 1 this is sigma xx lt we did this this is just a triangle with a external force on it acting this way this is easy you already did this for this particular case sigma nn will be uh sigma xx cos square theta right sigma nt happen to be minus sigma xx sin theta cos theta done and to that i'm going to add this one we also did this this is sigma yy l2t and as usual we will get sigma nn will be sigma y y sin square theta this one will be minus sorry plus sigma y y 
sin theta cos theta. How about this piece? Did that too. And remember, this is sigma x y, right? L one t. So this one we did this sigma n n equals sigma x y sin theta cos theta sigma n t equal to sigma x y sin square theta sorry cos square theta did that too how about the last one yeah we did that also sigma n n equal to sigma y x sin theta cos theta sigma n t equal to minus sigma y x sin square theta hey that's all man we just divided it into four pieces and we did them all individually anyway there's nothing to it this is how mathematics works okay so what happens is our final result looks very nice we add up all of this it's messy but not too bad it says sigma n n equal to sigma x x cos square theta plus sigma y y sin square theta plus sigma x y sin theta cos theta plus sigma y x uh, sin theta cos theta sigma n t this is the shear stress sigma so minus sigma x x sin theta cos theta plus sigma y y sin theta cos theta plus sigma x y cos square theta minus sigma y x sin square theta So this is our sandwich equation. It's got everything. We put every all the layers together. This is our sandwich equation. You are wondering. So what the heck happened to equation for moments? Up to now, we only used force equilibrium. What about moment equilibrium? Turns out life is easy now. Let's go back up here. Okay. Let's do moments equilibrium. So. The net force here is P2. Net force, can you see that these things don't have any moment? Because they're all pulling, right? So if you pull something and it goes through the axis, no moment. But you have shear forces. Can you see that these two shear forces? Let's erase some of this junk so that you can see things a little bit better. So what happens is when I look at moments, I don't care about this force. 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 Can you see that? Can you see that F1 and F1? So let me write it in a different color. This guy and that guy have clockwise moment. Sorry, counterclockwise moment. They're going like that. these two guys are going counterclockwise so they have to cancel each other out and that's easy so moment equilibrium so let's go back here moments equal to zero implies f2 times uh, let us see f2 times moment arm is l2 must be equal to 
F1 times L1. Sorry, yeah, that's right. Let us this one. F2 times L2 equal to F1, F1 times L1. Let's see what happens with that. Okay, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do it up here so you can see what happens with that. So we got F2 times L2 equals F1 times L1. So this means, sorry, uh, F2 times, so F2 over L1 equal to F1 over L2. If you look at the picture, F2 is this over L1 is that. If I multiply that by thickness, I will get stress. So let us divide by thickness here. T T F2 over L1 T is sigma y x. This is sigma x y. Jeez, that's 